Hi folks, uh, today I'm going to show you how to make molds and I know I'm wearing my N90 for the coronavirus. It's very convenient. I use them in my studio at the same time. So today I'm going to show you how I made this mold. I'm going to uh, show the smaller version uh, for the sake of dust. I have a smaller uh, mold that I already kind of made and I'm going to show you the process. I have the two molds that I already have done and this is these two are waiting to be to dry and I will demonstrate how I will pull them out in um, sand, wet sandpaper and clean the, the mold. This is already done. Um, I used this mold from Chinatown. I bought it for $25. I like the design. It's blue, navy blue, indigo blue. And this plate is from Dollar Store. There's a lot of um, imperfections, bubbles. And this too will be the smaller version of how I made them. You need plaster of Paris and a bucket of water. For the sake of dust, I'm demonstrating a smaller version of the process. The little bowl on the floor will be what I will use for demonstration. Right now, I'm simulating that I am supposed to be pouring the plaster on a bucket that big, if that's the amount you need. Um, for my demonstration today, I'm using a, two smaller bowls, and I'm pouring, uh, creating a little mountain island in the middle of the bowl. I am using a ladle. And also inside the plaster, I already have a small bowl that I use for pouring. And make sure you wear your mask. I'm using an N90 recommended mask for the studio. While you're pouring the plaster, try to pour them slowly, avoid the big clumps because you have to steer it, making sure there's no um, uh, clumps inside the mixture. I am trying to create a small island. Once that island is shaping like a little mountain, you're good. You have to start steering it, and you don't have to, to strain this like an actual clay. This is just for um, mixing. It's not recommended to use a blender because it will create a lot of bubbles. So a simple wooden uh, spoon is perfect. This is the bowl I will be using as a mold. Actually, I will be using two. And this is the Murphy's Oil Soap. I will uh, try to pour them, which is kind of hard. It's empty, almost empty. Pour them on that little bowl so I can thin it out and apply it on my mold. the plaster of paris mixture you make sure it's a uh, steer well remove clumps and once it's ready pour them on your mold that uh, i have the two little bowls that i'll be using as my mold when you're pouring your plaster of paris you are supposed to do it uh, slowly I tend to do them fast and I ended up with um, uh, imperfections on the wall of my mold.
During this project, I already made 10 pieces and I just want to show you what they look like and here they are. Now I'm waiting for my two little bowls to settle and I'm checking the temperature. Once it's hard, uh, you can tap it and you know it's ready. And if you touch it, it's really warm to touch. Get your bucket of water ready, your sandpaper uh, of choice. I have a scrubber, I have um, sandpaper set aside and I will pry the, the bowl open it's usually tougher when you uh, uh, when you have the level up so high like what I did here it's easier to pry them open when the level of the plaster of Paris is below the actual top of your bowl Here it is, it's done. Um, it's up to you how much you want to scrub or sandpaper, you can make it uh, finer. Um, hope you enjoy this video. Uh, there's two little bowls and uh, two large ones and I made almost 12 pieces 
during my、uh, self isolation quarantine for COVID 19. Hope you enjoy it.